guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my long awaited quarterly flip through. So I'm gonna show you all of my finished spreads for April, May, and June. I feel like I am so behind on getting this done, but it's honestly because I just need one sticker to complete one week in April. And I still haven't even bought that sticker yet. And I was like, you know what? At this point, I feel like I'm never gonna buy this damn sticker, so I might as well just film it and get it up for you guys. And I mean, it's only a dollar too. So you guys should comment down below to like light a fire under my behind so I can buy that damn sticker. So anyways, um, quickly here too, all of the kits that you guys will see are from Beautiful Planning except for one kit. One kit is from SPC. But if you don't know who Beautiful Planning is or if you're not familiar with my Plan With Me videos, I 99% of the time only use printables. I love printables and Beautiful Planning is my go-to printable shop. I love Stephanie, that's the shop owner. She's amazing and I love all of her stuff as well. Like she comes out with really good designs and the art that she uses is like very popular art that a lot of like the regular sticker shops use. I do have a coupon code, it is Brittany15 and that'll save you 15% off. But all right, let's go ahead and jump in. So here is my monthly. My monthlies, I say it in every flip through, are always the same. Um, I do like to decorate them. I honestly don't really go back and look at them unless I need to do like a quick like month at a glance look at it. But for my monthlies, I just honestly like to mark bill dues, holidays. I don't mark all holidays, but I do mark some. So bill dues, holidays, I like to mark like important events. If we're going out of town, birthdays, paydays, and my period. Because we are TTC or trying to conceive, so I like to mark my period in my monthlies. But that's basically all that I mark, I think. I just kind of like to mark like important things. So um, I'll plan my monthly, but obviously if something important happens after like I plan it in the beginning of the month, I will go back and add it. So like for instance, 9,000 subscribers, on YouTube. Obviously, I can't pre-plan that, um, so I went back and I filled it in. So just kind of like as an example. But that's basically how my monthlies are. I like to kind of keep, this actually looks chaotic. I was gonna say I like to keep them simple even though looking at this, it looks like a lot, but I feel like it's kind of simple, right? I don't know, it makes sense when I look at it, so I guess really, that's all that matters. But um, moving on then to the first full week in April, which I love this so much that like the very first week actually is April 1st to the 7th. I love when months to do that. I, I don't know if you guys are the same way, but anyways, again, beautiful planning. You'll know all of the kits, like I said, are from beautiful planning. The one that's not SPC, you guys will probably know it's SPC, but I'll definitely tell you. So this week here, I'm just trying to look at it because I don't remember a lot of it other than you guys are gonna see TVs. And this was, I think, yeah, this was the week before Game of Thrones. And I've watched all of the seasons of Game of Thrones. I'm obsessed with Game of Thrones. I am like the majority and I'm not happy with the way that it ended, but it is what it is. I'm trying to still let it go all these months later. But um, I basically wanted to binge watch all of the shows just because, you know, or not shows, all of the episodes, just because I feel like they had such a long hiatus that you tend to forget things. And I'm really glad that I was binging it because a lot of stuff I did honestly forget. Um, and Game of Thrones is like very confusing. You gotta like fully pay attention to like understand all of the moving pieces. So as you can tell, non-stop Game of Thrones binge. And then also we started Ozark. I don't know if we started Ozark this week, but I think it took us like two or three months to finish watching Ozark. But anyways, that's mainly what this week is. Like this week is all about Game of Thrones. I feel like it was kind of a lazy week, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to look here. Game of Thrones, film, rent and do, gotta love that. Dollar Tree and Target, another Game of Thrones binge. Um, oh, I have here Headache Free. I started, is this when I started Clomid? Oh no, I started Progesterone. Um, so like I told you guys earlier, I am TTC. So um, um, they found out through doing a bunch of like testing and stuff that I had low progesterone. So they prescribed me progesterone and I started taking it and the headaches were awful. I think I had a headache for like 10 days in a row. And finally on this day, like the headaches went away. I still get random headaches here and there. I'm no longer taking progesterone, but um, yeah, they were awful. I'm a big baby when it comes to headaches, so um, that was definitely something significant to mark. Um, and then, oh yeah, this is leading up to Easter as well, now that I see here. So it looks like, um, oh, we went to Crayola Experience. I wrote here Alondra, that's my daughter, allergies. We don't know, however, if she does have allergies. She hasn't been tested yet, but she wasn't sick. She, it just seemed like, my husband has allergies, so he was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's having allergies happening right now. So. 
um, but it only was like that day and then that was it. So I don't know, maybe it was like a 24 hour bug thing too. But anyways, um, also on Friday, we went to the Disney store and we did a Disney Easter egg hunt, which was a lot of fun. My daughter loved that. She also met the Easter Bunny and got pictures. And then we had a little family date at Cheesecake Factory. That's one of my favorite restaurants. I think this is honestly the last time we've had Cheesecake Factory. It's been a hot minute, but oh my God, so good. Their chicken and biscuits the best thing on the menu, in my opinion. And look at that, you guys, another Game of Thrones binge. Um, Saturday, my daughter, every Saturday you'll see my daughter will have dance lessons. It looks like oh, Game of Thrones, are you surprised? And it looks like I just had, we had a family night and I did a face mask. And then this day here, oh, my husband brought us surprise donuts. I'm obsessed with donuts, I love donuts so much. Um, so he surprised us with donuts in the morning, which was nice. And then look at that, you guys, Game of Thrones again. By the way, all of the stickers that I use, I will link in the description box. So I will link Beautiful Planning, of course. Most of the stickers you see here, like this is from Sticky Acorn. These here, um, they are on Etsy. It's also a printable character shop, so I'll link them down below. Um, this sticker here and this, this is from Ramona and Friends. This one as well. And that's also a printable character shop, so I will link, oh, these are too. I will link them down below. Um, I think you guys probably know this is Once More With Love and, oh, Coffee Monsters Co. right here. So like I said, all the stickers that I, you'll see in my spreads, I will definitely link them down below. If there's a specific sticker that you see that I don't say like, oh, this is from so-and-so, comment down below and I will be sure to respond to you guys. So anyways, that is this week and moving on then to the second week, which I saw this clip art immediately sent it to Stephanie, who is a shop owner of Beautiful Planning, and I said, this needs to be a kit. Like, I need this. I am obsessed with this paper. It is amazing. I think it's honestly perfect. And oh, this is the week that I'm missing that one sticker that I need to complete the week. So this is the week of, if you can't tell, Game of Thrones. And I love it because I feel like unless you know the show, then you really don't know that this is a Game of Thrones kit. But I just love it so much. And this is actually the first week where I like dabbled in a little bit of like foil. I mean, I didn't go crazy. I just put some like corner pieces here and then I put like, I don't know if you guys can see that there, but I put a foil, well, okay. I shouldn't say dabbled in foil because obviously over here you're gonna see foil, which by the way, all of the foil is not from a shop. My friend knows how to foil and she would foil, well, she does. She's foiled stuff for me and sent it to me. So that's where most of the foil you're gonna see is. But like these overlays here, these are all from SPC and so are these corners. She had a really good foil sale and I like jumped on that. Um, but anyways, yeah, so this is the week of Game of Thrones premiere, season eight. I'm still bitter, like I said, but I'm, I'm still trying to move past that. So on Monday, my husband got a wild hair up his ass and was like, hey, let's take a day trip. And I was like, say what? He's like, yeah, I wanna go on a day trip. Let's go to New Orleans. Cause I think New Orleans is only like an hour flight from where we live, we're in Dallas. And I was like, you're insane. Because me, like I'm not very spontaneous. I like to plan, I mean, obviously. So like that kind of stuff makes me so nervous. But I was like, you know what? Faduck it, let's do the damn thing. So we did it. So we planned our trip to NOLA, planned loosely. Like, you know, we looked at flights, you know, got our tickets, which by the way too, in case you're like, holy crap, a last minute trip for, to go to New Orleans. My husband works for the airline, so we do fly for free, but it's standby, so if that makes sense. Um, also on this day, this is my, what is she? My second cousin? <laughs> It's probably so weird to say, but it's my cousin's daughter, so it's her birthday, Haley, so I wanted to mark that. It looks like I needed to do, oh, I dropped off our dog at the borders, or at the borders? Is it called the borders? Yeah, I guess that like whenever you put your dog um, like in the doggy hotel, I call it the doggy hotel, but that's not really what it's called. But I guess that's what it's called, borders. I mean, I have it written here, so I guess that must be what it is. But yeah, we had to drop her off that night because we were leaving early in the morning. Looks like we got some Arby's. Oh my God, Arby's sounds so good. We're on a no spend right now and like no eating out, no buying anything that we don't need. And I'm like craving fast food so bad. Why does that happen when you are like, not on a no spend, so to speak. I feel like you don't want anything, but when you're on a no spend, you just want everything. And I just want fast food like shoved down my face so bad right now. But anyway, sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. So moving on to the next day here, Tuesday, that was our day trip to New Orleans. Like I said, we left early in the morning 
and then it only was an hour flight and then we picked up our car rental and then we drove to Cafe Du Monde. We went to the, I think there's several different locations throughout the city, but we went to the original. We had some beignets and some coffee, which we didn't realize they only took cash. So we were walking around, well I should say my husband was walking around everywhere looking for an ATM. I felt so bad. And of course they declined the card because we didn't contact the bank to notify them that we were out of town. Like it took us like an hour, like just to get cash. I was like, this is ridiculous. But anyways, the beignets were really delicious. However, however, and I mean, hey, comment down below if you agree with me or disagree. You can disagree. That's fine. Opinions are welcomed. But we think the beignets at Disneyland are better than the Cafe Du Monde beignets. I might have some people go crazy on me right now. I don't know. But if you've had the Disneyland beignets and you've had beignets from Cafe Du Monde, comment down below and let me know what you guys think. We're curious because honestly, I thought these were gonna be like heaven, delicious, and they were delicious, but I was like, dang, Disneyland's are better. I don't know. Anyways, moving on. So the rest of the day here, I the, the sticker that I want right here is a bus and a Sticky Acorn, which is actually a printable shop. Um, they have a, like a travel, it's like a, you know, a sheet of travel stickers. It's a printable shop though, but on that travel sheet, it has, um, what does it have? It has, a, I think it has an airplane. It has somebody holding a suitcase. It has somebody riding a bus. Like, you know, like the hop on, hop off bus tours. That's what that looks like. So it's like a little character sticking out of the bus. And then I think there's like an airplane sticker. Anyways, I want that bus sticker um, because we did a hop on and hop off bus tour of New Orleans because we were only there for the day. Literally flew in in the morning and then we flew out at night. And so we thought, okay, it's our first time ever in New Orleans. Let's just do one of those tours because that'll be the easiest and quickest way to see, you know, the city. Um, so anyways, that's what we did. But I just want to get that sticker, like I said, to, to mark you know, the, the bus tour. Um, so on the bus tour, we stopped at the Lafayette Cemetery number one. Oh my God, the cemeteries in New Orleans are just so beautiful. I am so obsessed with them. I love them so much. Um, but yeah, this one here, they filmed like the originals. They filmed, was it Vampire Diaries too? I think it was Vampire Diaries, but for sure it was the originals and a bunch of other movies. Um, there's a movie that they filmed with, oh my God, I can picture her face, Double Jeopardy. They filmed Double Jeopardy there too with, is her name Ashley, the actress? I feel like you don't see her anymore. Is it Ashley Judd? No, I don't know. But hopefully, if you guys know that movie, Double Jeopardy, um, and they filmed a bunch of other movies too in that cemetery, but it was gorgeous. I think we were there for like an hour, no joke. Like I did not want to leave. The cemetery was just so beautiful. Probably weird to think like, why are you hanging out in a cemetery? But we weren't the only ones. It's like, it's a thing. I feel like New Orleans, one of the things they're known for, I feel like is their cemeteries. I could be wrong, but. I just, it was gorgeous. Um, and then we ate at the Creole house, which we were a little bit disappointed about, but I mean, it wasn't awful, but just slightly disappointed. Anyways, we ate there and then we left New Orleans. And then also on this day, I didn't really have room to market. So I went into the um, body, the body, the bottom washi. And my friend Kirsten had her baby, Reagan. So I obviously wanted to mark that because that is a really big, important, special day. So Reagan was born this day, so I had to mark it, of course. And then moving on to Wednesday, this was honestly such a lazy day because I was exhausted. Like the one day of traveling and all the walking around, I was just exhausted this day. I was zonkered. Um, but um, so on this day, I picked up my dog. I took her to the groomers. I did some meal planning. I went grocery shopping. It was my mother-in-law's birthday, and then of course, you guys, Game of Thrones binge. On Thursday, I have a sticker here that says, still so tired. I was, I was, I, I think I was tired for like three days. I was just so exhausted. Um, and then it looks like I did laundry. I called the school, oh, this is when I was trying to get information about getting my daughter enrolled into pre-K, so I had to call the school. Um, we had a car wash membership and we canceled the car wash membership to save a little bit of coin. Plus we weren't utilizing it, so we're like, why are we wasting money? So we did that. Did some cleaning, got a package, and we did some more Ozark binging. And then on the 12th, we went to the notary. Why did we go to a notary? I can't recall. Um, we went to Costco. Oh, I put for here, Frontier BS. I was so pissed. So on my birthday back in February, and I remember it because it was on my actual birthday, we were getting to work. Look. English, Brittany. It's late, y'all. It's like 10 o'clock at night. I'm so tired. But we were getting ready to walk out the door to go to my birthday dinner, and Frontier comes knocking on the door, like wanting to sell us their services. And we were actually thinking that week of canceling our TV provider 
So we're like, okay, cool, let's talk. Let's let's hear things out. So we talked to them, we were thinking about it, and we, I guess we did, yeah, sign up for it, but he quoted us something that was totally different than the quote that came through. So he gave us a verbal quote, you know, we were gonna set up for people to come to our um, our place to like do the connection like that weekend and then come to find out like later that night after he left, we got an email from Frontier quoting us $80 more than what the guy said. And the guy was like, oh, well, I guess I forgot to add in like installation and I, I, I guess I got it wrong. And it's like, no, we're not paying $80 more than what we already have. Cause we already feel like we're paying a lot of money. So anyways, we cancel it, we think all is good, and then on this day, I get a phone call from Frontier, he's like the installer guy, and he's like, hey, um, I'm finishing up at a house, and so I should be in your place within the hour. And I was like, I'm sorry, why are you coming to my place? He's like, this is for your installation. So, apparently what happened, because I called, I don't like to get people in trouble, but like this really, pissed me off but basically what we found out is and I guess this is what this guy has been doing a lot when people call him to, like he gets a little like bonus like a little bump for everybody he gets to like sign up so what he's been doing when people call him to cancel he just postpones it for a couple of months so he gets all that like bonus money so that's what he did to us and so anyways we had to like not like file anything like crazy, but you know, they, we had to give a bunch of information because I guess this guy has been doing it a lot and we weren't the first people. So anyways, I have that. That was a long story, sorry guys. I hope you guys don't mind when I tell stories. Like when I walk, watch flip throughs, I feel like not everybody talks about a lot of stuff. So I don't know if you guys like that. If you guys want me to talk less, comment down below and let me know. I can just be like, the stickers from here and the stickers from here. Like, I don't know, I can do that, but I'm, I'm a talker. So anyways, and I'm still talking, moving on. So um, on the 13th, uh, my daughter had dance. Oh, she got her costume that day. It was so cute. And then we actually went to a birthday party that night. And that's the first ever birthday party my daughter has ever been to. So she was thrilled and so excited to go to her first ever birthday party. And it was a lot of fun. Um, and then, oh, look how funny that is. On Sunday, my flip through went live. So if you haven't seen my other flip through for January, February, and March, I will link it in the description box for you so you can check it out if you wanna see those other three months. But it looks like that video went up uh, on Sunday. Of course, you guys, another Game of Thrones binge, and then, of course, the premiere of Game of Thrones. So that is this week, and I love it so much. I love like the brightness of the colors, and oh, it's so beautiful. So moving on, this is then the week of Easter. And um, so on that Monday, I needed to order and buy my daughter's recital ticket. So that's what I did there. I had to fill out um, some documents for pre-K. Um, oh, I sent Kurt, I was like, what is this? K push present. But um, it's so funny, Kirsten, it's not funny, but Kirsten had like a hard time, like she has a hard time with her pregnancy. She gets sick, she has to be on medication cause she'll just like keep throwing up. And so she's a Dr. Pepper lover like myself and um she was saying like oh my god i cannot wait to like have my baby because as soon as i have her i'm gonna be like get me a dr pepper so i ended up buying her as a push present three cases of dr pepper you're welcome kirsten but yeah so um i ordered it on this day and um brian like went and picked it up but anyways yeah so that's what i did and then we um decorated easter cookies um, and then it looks like I did more pre-K paperwork, docs for pre-K than pre-K, I don't know. I guess I was just doing a lot of pre-K paperwork. Um, then I cleaned the entire house, we dyed Easter eggs, I did a face mask, and then really exciting, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law and then our two nephews came to visit us, which was really cool because this was their first time visiting us and it was like a second set of visitors visiting us. I hope that makes sense. But like the only person that has vis visited us before them was my father-in-law and mother-in-law. So it was really cool to have like other visitors come. There we go, that's what I was trying to explain. Um, and then let's see, on Wednesday, obviously they were here, so we literally just chilled at the house all day. We chilled at the house, on the couch, and basically did nothing. Um, my husband had a dentist appointment, but he canceled it, or he rescheduled it, because you know he just wanted some more time with his brother. My sister-in-law and I just had a bunch of girl talk, just catching up on life and just talking, you know, you know, girls, when we get together, we just like to chit chat. Oh, and my camera's dying. Hold on, you guys, let me switch it out. Okay, I am back with a fresh battery, so moving on then to Thursday, we watched a lot of movies when they were in town so we watched triple frontier it's a netflix movie i suggested it. it's actually really good i did like it um 
You'll probably hate Ben Affleck's character, but watch the movie and you'll know why. We got some dominoes. The kids were really into making paper airplanes. The boys had like a really big book with papers telling you like how to do different types of paper airplanes, which I never even knew there was different ways to do paper airplanes. So that was pretty interesting, but oops, I hit my planner. But um, yeah, so they were doing that. We flew those outside. Kids played a lot of hide and seek outside. Looks like we had Chick-fil-A for dinner. And then Friday, we watched Ralph Breaks the Internet. The kids made pancakes with Edam, my husband. Of course, Target run. Always gotta go to Target, except not now because I'm on a no spin. So anyways, had some pho. And then on Saturday, this was the last full day that they were in town. So we found this park, like a really big park, really cool and nice. And so we went there. It's like about 15, 20 minutes away. Had a really good time. We got some ice cream from the ice cream man. We had a scary moment, like literally the scariest moment probably as a parent. Um, we were throwing away the trash because we had like a little picnic outside too. And we were throwing away the trash and couldn't find Alondra. Like she ran with her two cousins. It was probably two minutes. And we're like, wait a second, where is she? Like we were just throwing away the trash. Where did she go? You know, it's a bunch of kids in a park. You know, you hear scary things that happen. So immediately go into panic mode, run around everywhere looking for her. And then um, we were like, wait a second. She knew we were underneath the tree. Maybe, you know, when we ran this way, she ran that way. You know what I'm saying? And so we go back to the tree and there she was and a bunch of parents, she probably had like 10 moms swarming her because she was crying, you know, and then we walk up and they're like, is this your mommy? Is this your daddy? Like, which I didn't mind. I was glad that, you know, they weren't like, okay, yeah, here you go. Because I mean, how do they know? But anyways, yeah, oh, that was like the scariest moment ever. It didn't take us a long time to find her. It probably literally took us 30 seconds to find her, but I, I thought I was gonna like die. Like I was so panicked, but. Anyways, um, for dinner, of course, it was our last night in Texas, and they were in Texas. We had to have some barbecue, so we got some heartache barbecue, and then we had another movie night, and we watched Thor Ragnarok. I think I'm saying that right. And then on Sunday, it was Easter, and then they did leave early, early in the morning, so of course, Easter, my husband worked, so you know we just did like Easter baskets at home, nothing too much, and then that's basically it. So that is it for this week here. And then moving on to, I think this is the last week. Yeah, the last technical full week of April. It's the 22nd to the 28th. Uh, I feel like not a lot. Oh, I guess kind of. Yeah, I, I, I always want to say, like, I feel like not a lot happened. And then when you look at it, you're like, oh, no, yeah, I guess things did happen. So um, on Monday, honestly, just a boring day. I just watched Game of Thrones. I watched it again. Like, I re-watched it because I would, like, watch an episode on Sunday night and then I would watch it, like, three more times the next day. So, um, anyways, yeah, Game of Thrones, again, um, just putting sheets away, cuddle time, whatever. The next day on Tuesday, my husband has keratoconus and he had eye surgery. And so this was his yearly checkup. So he went to L.A. for the day um, to get that checkup done. Um, but... Right here, his flight was canceled. So that really sucked. He had to stay the night and then he didn't come home until the next day. Um, but yeah, the next day, it was just, I went to Starbucks, went to Kroger, which is a grocery store, um, and my hubby was home. And then, oh, I have false alarm here because I was three days late on my period, but I ended up getting my period anyway. So kind of sucks, but we're still trying. Um, and then it looks like I booked my stepmom's flight to come and visit us. Oh yeah, that's right. So they left and then my stepmom came. So yeah. <laughs> um, and then the next day it looks like I did more grocery shopping, went to Costco, Winko. Um, oh, we bought our Avengers tickets. And then on Friday we went and saw Avengers Endgame. My husband is Iron Man obsessed. He has a tattoo of Iron Man on him for God's sake. So clearly you know he loves him some Iron Man. Um, but I had to pick up my prescription. I hit 9,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is very exciting. And I think I'm like 500 away from 10,000, which is crazy. Like, I just can't imagine that. So, anyways, thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. And if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead. You know, just click that button. Um, but anyways, I cleaned the house. I did laundry. And then my stepmom came into town that night. Saturday morning, right? Yeah, Saturday morning um, we had dance lessons for my daughter and then I just have here like Mima is here because my daughter 
was asleep, so she didn't see her until Saturday morning. So she was really excited to see her. Um, we got some Chick Fil A. My, we had some wine. My my stepmom's a wino, and so we had. She got me hooked on this wine from Costco. It's so freaking good. I think it's a Moscato. Yes, it's a Moscato. Oh my god, I've never been able to do wine before. And she's like, I have the perfect wine. We got it, and now I'm like addicted. Actually, no, not really. I stopped because you know we're TTC, so I'm not drinking, but. Anyways, um, so yeah, we played Candyland with my daughter and us ladies had some wine and then I also FaceTimed my sister. Um, and then the next day, Sunday, I put, I, like I said, I don't know if I pers I don't know if I have allergies or my daughter has allergies, but um, on this day, like I just woke up kind of feeling not so great, but everybody was saying, not everybody, but like my stepmom and my husband were like, oh, I think you have allergies. It doesn't seem like you're really sick. So I just put here like allergies kicking my ass. Um, then I had to do some dentist paperwork. What did I have to do dentist paperwork for? Maybe I had to transfer, because this was the first time seeing this dentist, maybe I had to transfer like old records over. I don't know, but I guess I did paperwork. Um, and then, of course, Game of Thrones. I actually, this night, I got my stepmom addicted to Game of Thrones. So funny. She's never watched it, and then I had her watch it with me this night, and she's, like, hooked and addicted. I don't know if she's finished yet, but I know she was binging it for a while. Um, so anyways, moving on to May. This is what my May monthly looks like in a nutshell. I'm not going to go everything, like, over everything, just because you guys will find out as the week goes on. But moving on then to the 29th of April to May 5th. Actually, I did this as a rewind plan with me. This is the very first one that I did. Um, and yeah, I because I didn't know what kit I was going to use for this week because we got invited to go to a wedding on Saturday and we literally did not know if we were going to go to the wedding until Friday. <laughs> and I was like, well, if we go to the wedding, I want to use a wedding kit. If we don't go, I want to use a different kit. So I waited to plan it out just to see if we were going to go. But um Anyways, yeah, so this is a wedding week. Aaron and Drew, um, you know, they ended up getting married. Not that you, I don't know why I said their name. You don't even know who they are. But just kind of a cute little funny story. My husband and her started together in San Diego. She transferred to Dallas maybe six months before my husband, and then my husband transferred. So it's just kind of cool how they started in San Diego, and then, like, now we're all in, like, the Dallas area together. So, anyways, um, this Monday morning, my stepmom did leave. We got some donuts. Um, my husband, oh, so the dental paperwork was probably the paperwork for my husband because he had an appointment on that Monday. Um, on Tuesday is like Children's Day. It's a Mexican holiday, so I just like to mark that. I had to call the OB. Um, I worked on my budget. I had a print recital paperwork. Um, oh, I also met my Sensi goal. I'm a Sensi consultant, and I if I didn't meet my goal on this day, then come May 1st, I was no longer going to be a Sensi consultant. So that was kind of a big deal because I did not want to be one. I did not not want to be one. I didn't want to, does that make sense? I wanted to be a consultant, so I didn't want my, you know, I, I don't know what I'm saying. You guys understand, right? Okay, yes. So anyways, I met my goal, super stoked. Um, and then I put Game of Thrones on repeat. So like I said, I just like would binge watch the same episode like two, three times, like over and over. So that's what I did this day. And then we had a Cincy team training call. On the first, I have here a chat with Kirsten. We had like a long conversation just catching up on life. So I talked with her. I had a Bravo binge. I got a new recruit. And I just have here like Cincy hustle. Thursday, honestly, nothing. I mean, I filmed and edited laundry, watched Cars, the movie Cars. And then I have down here, like, a laundry won't sleep. Oh, my God. It was awful. Like, I don't know what it was, but she would not go to sleep, I think, till like, 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, please go to bed. She doesn't nap, so, and, and that's not normal. And she wasn't sick either, by the way. Um, so I don't know if, like, maybe she had a nap that day, and that's why she stayed up so late. But I was exhausted. I was like, please. Please go to bed. Um, so yeah, I was up pretty late for with her with that. On Friday, nothing like too exciting. Just, you know, a video, laundry, shopping at Old Navy, Dollar Tree. And I did get two new recruits. So that is definitely, oop, my phone. Um, so that is definitely, obviously, exciting. Um, and then on Saturday, I don't know why I wrote up so early, but I guess I was up so early. Um, we had dance lessons. I did some grocery shopping and then we went to the wedding and the wedding was two hours away. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. And then on the fifth, it was Cinco de Mayo and, um, at the, we have a membership to Crayola Experience. Um, there's only four locations in the U S but, and we have one right by us. So 
at the Crayola experience, the Dallas Zoo was like visiting and they were showing like different animals. And so I thought that would be a lot of fun to go to. So we went to that. Then it looks like we went to Costco and then we went on a nice family walk. So that is this week. And then the next week here, May 6th to the 12th is Mother's Day week. Um, so you guys know it, Game of Thrones. Um, I enrolled my daughter in pre-K, so very exciting. Like it was official, she's going to pre-K. And by the way, she's already started school and she loves pre-K, which makes me so freaking happy. Um, on this day, we got our tax refund, which was a blessing because honestly, I changed my name. And because I changed my name from my maiden name to my married name, yes, it took me three years, by the way, to change my last name, okay? Um, but I finally did it. And because of that, I don't know, their like system got confused and like my our claim or refund got stuck. I don't know, it was just, it was a disaster. So anyways, but we finally got it. So I was very happy about that. I got another new recruit and then we had Cincy team training. Um, and then on the 8th, I have here, we paid off our care credit, which was a big deal. The care credit was our loan, or not a loan, I guess, but um, a care credit is a medical credit card. So we paid for like half of my husband's eye surgery. We paid for like out of savings, and then the other half we put on the care credit card. So we paid it off this day, which was a huge relief, you know? It was just, it really feels good when you pay something off big. So we paid that off. Um, looks like cleaning, laundry, um, and then the next day looks like more laundry, meal planning, grocery shopping, you know, the typical mundane stuff that you do. On this Friday here, I got a 90 minute massage, which, oh my God. Oh, this was also Feliz Dia de las Madres. So this is um, Mexican Mother's Day. So Mexican Mother's Day is always on the 10th. Um, so yeah, so that was Mexican Mother's Day. So it's like a double Mother's Day, but I don't, we don't do double gifts. We don't even do gifts, honestly. I'm like, let's just keep the money in the bank. I'd rather money be in the bank than you get me a gift. Like, I know, that's probably weird. And I'd rather have my husband like cook me, you know, like steak or chilereño or something. But um, anyways, yeah, so I did get a 90 minute massage. We have a massage membership, so, which I, we need to use. We are so bad about using it, but that's a totally different story. So anyways, oh no, wait. <laughs> I lie. The only gift that I wanted was to get a custom family emoji. Like I wanted a custom family emoji so bad. So I told my husband, this is all I want to buy. And I was like, this is all I want for Mother's Day. And he was like, all right, order it. So I did. I was really so uh, stoked about that. Um, but also on Saturday, my daughter had her recital dance pictures. And then my mother-in-law came in to surprise my daughter. So we didn't tell her that she was coming. And so my daughter was just so excited to see her. So she actually flew in on that Saturday night. Sunday was Mother's Day. Um, and that's when I officially, wow, I quit soda on that. Wow, it's been a while. So May, June, July, August. I have quit soda for four months. I am so proud of myself. I've only had soda in that four months probably five times, five or six times. So I'm pretty proud of myself because I was drinking soda on the daily and um, I, I always go through like, I'm gonna quit and I'll quit for like a week. And like, but anyway, so four months for me, that's really good. Um, oh my God, this feels like, so I, I love, I love just like petting my planner. Sorry guys, I keep like doing this. Um, but anyways, yeah, we went to Thrift Giant. Thrift, my mother-in-law and I love to go thrift store shopping. So that's like our thing. So we did that and you guys know more Game of Thrones. So anyways, that is the week of Mother's Day. Or wait, did that make sense? That is the week of Mother's Day week? I don't know. Anyways, we're, we're good. Moving on. You guys understand me. So May 13th to May 19th, um, looks like we went to the park. Oh yeah, we went to the park at the apartments and then we went on a really long walk, my mother-in-law and I. I like feel like we walked for like a good 45 minutes. It was really good. Um, I got some Chick-fil-A. It's so funny. Every time my mother-in-law visits, she always wants to eat Chick-fil-A. Like look, Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A. I feel like we got Chick-fil-A. Oh yeah. Chick-fil-A, like literally every time she visits, we get Chick-fil-A, or every time she visits, she's like, Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A, it's just, I don't know. She like only eats it with us too, so it's just kind of funny. Um, and then on Tuesday, my husband and I, we love to go and get breakfast. We love doing that, and so does my mother-in-law. So we hadn't been to like any breakfast like restaurant ever since moving to Dallas, and so since all of us are just like obsessed with eating breakfast, my husband heard about this really good restaurant called seven mile cafe and so we went um it was actually like an hour drive but it was worth it it was really delicious it was so good um and then i have here couch potatoes all days and which it's true we literally sat on the couch all day and watched fixer upper so um that's basically what we did and then on wednesday 
I mean, just the same stuff. We went to Hobby Lobby, Chick-fil-A, put clothes away. I feel like I am always doing laundry, but I guess that is a chore that never ends. Um, and then on Thursday, oh, we actually made beignets. We actually have a box. We didn't buy it in New Orleans. We actually bought it at our local grocery store, but it's the Cafe Du Monde. They actually sell like their, their mix. I mean, I think you just add water to it, I think is really all you add to it. And then you have to obviously fry it. So we've had the box in our pantry for forever. My mother-in-law saw it and she's like, what is this? She's never had beignets before. So I told her, so we ended up finally making the beignets. And then later that day, we went to the splash pad. We have a really cool splash pad right by us, and it's free, so we ended up going that day. But of course, we were there for like two and a half hours, and we had to like literally pick up our daughter to leave, and that was like a hot mess, like kicking and crying. Um, so yeah, I went to the splash pad. We had a pizza night. And then um, on this day here, oh, I got my Cycle Day 21 results because I've been doing, I was been basically doing a bunch of testing before I started taking um, Clomid. I'm actually on my third round of Clomid right now. Fingers crossed, I'm pregnant and I don't know it. But anyways, um, so yeah, I actually got good news uh, about my um, Cycle Day 21 test results. That's the progesterone. And because of the good you know results from here, um, that's why I stopped taking progesterone. So anyways, I was excited about that. Chick-fil-A again, like I said. Oh, look at that, more laundry. Um, and then also my mother-in-law left um, Friday night. And then on Saturday, of course, like I always, dance lessons. I had to turn in the recital form uh, and the money for the DVD, uh, recital DVD, which don't even get me started about that DVD. I am still pissed about that. So much money and it was like awful quality like somebody did on the iPhone. Anyways, I'm not gonna rant about that. I decluttered my daughter's toys. Um, huge fail with a Costco sticker. So that probably means that we went into Costco for two items and we probably walked out paying $300. I kid you not, we always go to Costco with just a list and for some reason, my husband and I, we just lose our shit and we buy everything. It's like, oh, this is on sale? Let me throw that in the cart. This is on sale? Let me throw that in the cart. Like, oh my God. We, we just have to, we've been staying away from Costco since the snow's been because Costco does us so dirty every time we go in. So anyways, and then also this night, it looks like I put here, Alondra won't sleep. So I don't remember this night, but clearly she wouldn't sleep. Um, and then on Sunday, we went to Costco again. Seriously? Why would we go two days in a row? I don't know, I can't remember this far back. Looks like I just had a YouTube binge, kind of a, oh, and this is the series finale of Game of Thrones. Oh my God, I was so pissed. Comment down below if you watch Game of Thrones. Were you mad with the ending or were you okay with it? I have not met anyone or no one's commented to me saying that like they were okay with the ending. Everyone is like pissed about it, so. I'm curious what y'all think. So anyways, the last week in May here, the 20th through the 26th, I love this kit. It's just so like peaceful, just looking at it, it's just like, ah, oh, calm. But um, anyways, let's see here. Nothing really exciting on this day. Just like your mundane stuff, Hobby Lobby, got two packages. Um, on the 24th, oh, on this day, so excited. I got my custom family emoji and I just wanna, I'm gonna zoom in because I want y'all to see it. So if you guys see here, this is my little custom family emoji and I love it so freaking much. Like my husband's beard and his glasses, he wanted to be wearing a San Diego Padres hat. So I asked Helen, like, please put in the Padres hat. And then my daughter, like, oh my God, just so cute. I love us so much. I really wanna get another custom emoji, but just one of me. I actually would like one of just me, just my daughter and just my husband. That way, like with like certain things, I can just use that to mark each of us. Oh, and my dog too. I think like my, I have a pug and I think a pug as an emoji would just be the cutest thing. A pug modi. oh my God, how cute is that? Okay, anyway, so yeah. And I also want a custom munchkin. I just guess I just want everything custom. Um, so anyways, um, I got that um, and I was gonna say in the mail, but technically she emails it to you. Anyways, um, looks like I renewed my PO box. We had to do our Jared inspection. I put here target therapy. Cause you know, I just love Target so much. I could literally walk around Target for hours and not buy one thing, which doesn't make sense. Like why do I go to Costco and buy everything, but Target I don't, but I just, I just love Target. I just love to walk around. It just makes me so happy. Um, but anyways, what did I do on this day here? Oh, we fell in love with Andy's. You guys, if you, I, th I first I thought Andy's was only a Texas thing and I had to look it up. There's other locations. I just can't remember what other states have them. But oh my God, they're, they have frozen custard. 
and it is the best thing in the world. I get their like brownie sundae thing and oh my god, oh my god. I've never been an ice cream person. Uh, this is custard, but I've never been like a custard ice cream. Like I've never been into it and we wanted to go and try out this place and oh my god, you guys, it's heaven. Oh, I'm craving it so bad right now. It is so good. I feel like after we discovered them, I feel like we went like every week. I could be wrong, but we go a lot. Love it so much. Um, so yeah, if you have an Andy's near you, Check it out, get the brownie sundae, it is bomb. Um, so anyways, the next day here, I went to Hobby Lobby. Oh yeah, I went to Hobby Lobby a lot because I got like this like, I wanna decorate my house because we. I honestly don't have a lot of decorations in my house. So I finally got like this like wild decor hair like bug up my ass and I was like, I just wanna decorate everything. So I went to Hobby Lobby a lot. Um, but Alondra and I also had a mommy daughter day at Crayola Experience. And then it looks like we got some Jack and the Crack tacos. Those tacos are so good. I mean, two tacos for a dollar, you can't really beat it. So anyways, um, Saturday, laundry, of course, more laundry. What is my life? And I guess I was so tired. Looks like a boring day. So this day was honestly such a bad day. Like I was livid clearly by this little sticker. This is from Ramona and Friends and she's flicking everything off. But basically what happened is, um, my husband noticed that um, the tires in our CRV, what was wrong with it? There was like a tear. There was like a tear or something in the tire. And he's like, it's not safe. Like, it's really flat. And I think we need to go and get him checked out. So we went to Costco to get him checked out. And they're like, yeah, there's no repairing this. Like, you're going to have to replace all of your tires. So um, when he told me about that with the CRV, because he had came home from work and he noticed it when he was like parking. And I was like, okay, well, yeah, let's go get the tires checked out. So he wanted to jump in the shower. He's emptying his pockets. His cell phone, which by the way, was in a case, had a like protective, you know, thing on it so like the screen doesn't crack. And it landed in a pile of clothes on the floor. So it had a case and it landed in a pile of freaking dirty clothes. And guess what? It shut off and would not turn back on. And it was just honestly the most frustrating thing because honestly, I think like a month or two months before, I had to get a new a new iPhone because my old one went in the freaking toilet. Ugh. Anyways, so I was pissed off because his phone was basically broken and then we had to get new tires. Like, it's just like, you know, and that's like big, it's an iPhone. So you know an iPhone costs a shit ton of money and then tires is really expensive too. So it was like two big hits financially, so. Oh, we were very cranky and we were going out of town and you know when you go out of town that costs money So anyways, that is the last week or full week I should say of May moving into June and this is basically the overview Of June I would definitely say of the three months June was like a more mellow low-key month But the also too in June I feel like all of my kits were planned like I needed to use like a certain kit because of like an event and if you can tell by this event here graduation my littlest brother and he literally just turned 18 two weeks ago so um it was his high school graduation the youngest sibling to graduate um not like the youngest sibling to graduate like he's the youngest in age to graduate but like he's the baby in the family and he graduated i, I don't know hopefully you guys make sense i don't know i'm tired um anyways he graduated high school good job chris so anyways, we went down to San Antonio, obviously, to celebrate his graduation. Um, so on this day, Monday, we actually left. Oh, that's also why we had to go and get the tires checked out because we were leaving the next day to go to Austin. So on the way to San Antonio from Dallas, Austin is, you know, a pit stop. So um, Kirsten is one of my really good friends and I wanted to see her and I wanted to meet Reagan. I, I wanted to see Kirsten, obviously I love her, but honestly, I wanted to see Reagan. Like, oh, and she's so cute and chubby and I wanna steal her so bad. So anyways, we stopped in Austin and we got to see them and hang out with them. It was so much fun. We got dinner at H Mart, which was really delicious, um, so good. And then she had like a bunch of D stash of stickers. So I went through them and I put here holy stickers because it felt like Christmas because she was like my sticker Santa Claus. And oh, it was, I love you Kirsten, thank you. And then the next day we left early in the morning to go to San Antonio, Starbucks run. And then at my dad's, honestly, I was just so lazy. I had a really bad headache. So I just binged HGTV like on the couch at my dad's house. I had a headache, ended up taking like a nap. So that's Tuesday, kind of boring. 
And then on Wednesday, my stepmom is an esthetician and she can do microblading and I had gotten my eyebrows microbladed before by her and I really needed to get them like redone. So she did my eyebrows. Also on this day, we got Edom his new phone because we found out we honestly there's nothing we can do um you know there's no way to fix it like geek squad or anything so we got his new phone and then also whenever we go to my dad's he has a pool table and we always compete and pull like my dad and stepmom against us and we always lose and it's always my husband's fault and he will tell you too like i carry us but my dad is just like really freaking good in pools so anyways that was our pool match that we had and then on Thursday was my brother's graduation. Honestly, we didn't do anything like that day, really. Um, we just had a lazy morning, did nothing. And then right before the graduation, because the graduation, like, I don't know, I think it's like weird. Why do you have a graduation on Thursday at eight o'clock at night? Like it didn't finish till like 9.30. And it's like, hi, people like probably, like I didn't have to work, but I mean like my dad did, you know? I don't know. So anyways, he had his graduation at 8 p.m. So we had to do dinner at Chili's before the graduation. Um, and then after that, we needed to get gas um, because we were leaving early in the morning the next day to go back to Dallas. And then my stepmom also does micro needling. So it's basically, it's like a roller and it has a bunch of needles in it and she rolls it and the needles go and they puncture your skin and it's, you know, produces collagen. It's supposed to just like do great stuff for your skin. So anyways, I tried that for the first time and loved it. And then also we had some wine to go along with it because like I said, she got me addicted to that Moscato. Um, but yeah, if you haven't tried, I can't think of the brand right now, but the Moscato at Costco, I think it's like $7.99. Oh my God, it's so good. Try it. Anyways, um, so on Friday we actually left um, to go back to Dallas. It was my sister's birthday. Um, of course, we stopped at Bucky's and got an icy. Like that is always our stop. Whenever we go to like Austin, San Antonio, we stop at Bucky's, go to the bathroom, and we get an icy. That place is phenomenal. Um, looks like I got some more Cincy recruits. I got a package for a laundry from my mom, and we had Chipotle for dinner on Saturday. My husband got a massage. We tried out this new restaurant, and we were very disappointed. It was like so disgusting. So, anyways, we had a Target run. We had a crazy rainstorm. I mean, well. I feel like we get a lot of crazy rainstorms in Dallas, but it must have been really crazy if I actually marked it because I typically don't ever mark anything weather in my planner, so it must have been something. Um, and then on Sunday, um, we went. We had a pool day and did laundry. And um, yeah, that's basically our week in a nutshell. Moving on to the week of June 3rd to June 9th, obviously another themed kit because my daughter had her first dance recital. She did ballet and tap for the very first time. So she had her recital this week and oh my gosh, I still need to register and dance. We haven't yet because right now she's in swim lessons and t-ball. And I don't know if I can add on another activity, but I definitely want her to do dance and continue because she loves it so much. But anyways, um, Looks like on Monday, my dog had a grooming appointment. Oh, and I met with my OB. This was to discuss like our next steps um, to getting pregnant. And that's when I decided I was going to go on Clomid. So that was that appointment. Then did some grocery shopping and I picked up my prescription. On Tuesday, I ordered groceries, did laundry. What is new? I feel like I'm always doing laundry. And then she, we had um, my daughter's dance rehearsal for the recital. That was on that night. Um, and then I had a Cincy team training. On Wednesday, what did I do? Oh, finish laundry, why is that not surprising? Clean the bathrooms, Target, we bought, oh, we bought patio furniture for our balcony. My daughter got a package. Um, what else? Thursday, clean the floors, put the clothes away. I mean, honestly, like, cleaning and doing laundry is basically, I guess, like this week. Oh, I have like this rolling of the eyes, uh, Ramona and Friends sticker here, and I put change of plans. That's because um, my stepmom and my brother were supposed to come to my sister's dance recital. And on this day, they told me that uh, they weren't coming. So I was kind of annoyed, especially because I bought the tickets. So, <laughs> and to Hayes, I'm not bitter about that at all. So, yeah. Um, and then also, too, I have here Camachos on the way, which is my in-laws. So my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, they drove from San Diego to visit us um, to San Diego to obviously visit us and to also come to my daughter's dance recital. So they drove all that way. Mm, isn't that nice? Um, so anyways, still not bitter, I swear. Um, so Friday, 
It was my Aunt Cindy's birthday, I had a lazy day, and then my in-laws arrived. Because they drove, it does take like 20-ish hours, so they didn't arrive until later that night. And then on Saturday, of course, what did I say about my mother-in-law? She loves Chick-fil-A, so we had Chick-fil-A breakfast. It was my daughter's dance recital. We had to get new tires for the Corolla, our other car. We've actually been needing new car, new, bleh, new tires for that car for months, but we've been waiting for a really good deal, and Costco, Every six months or so they run, they like come out with a really good tire special or deal. So anyways, we were waiting for that special and um, this was the last day to like, you know, get that deal. So we finally sucked it up and got the tires because of the, they just really needed it. But it just sucked because, you know, like two weeks prior we had to get tires for the other car that we weren't expecting. But that's just life, dealing with unexpected things. But anyways, we got some barbecue at Heart 8 Barbecue. Um, on Sunday, it was my nephew's birthday. Oh, okay, I have here that our apartment flooded. It didn't necessarily flood. However, if we were out of, like, if we were out doing errands, it would have been a lot worse. Like, it would have been flooded. But the rain was so bad, like I said, we get crazy rainstorms, that water was coming through our window. And yes, all the windows, the doors were shut. But the water was coming through our living room window, and, like, the our couch was soaked. There was, like actual like puddle on the floor like you put your foot down and it's covered in water and then water was coming underneath our um, balcony door it was coming underneath so thankfully we noticed it right away um, but yeah if we definitely weren't home it would have been so much worse so anyways I marked that we went to after that though we did go to Kroger and we went on a target run and oh yeah when we went to Kroger too their power was off like from the storm they had lost power so we couldn't even go shop well we had to wait like 30 ish minutes for the power to come back on but um yeah that was interesting to walk around the grocery store with like no lights on um, but they, they kept telling everybody that we could come in so that's why we were still there and they're like it's gonna be on in just a minute just a minute 30 minutes later but anyways um june 10th to the 16th is father's day week so another themed week here and um, on Monday, my in-laws did leave, so they drove back to San Diego. Um, what else did I do? Ooh, I started binging LA's Finest. And LA's Finest is such a good show. It's like a, I think it's a Spectrum only show, so I don't know. I mean, it says Spectrum only, but I don't know if that's like legit. Like maybe in other cities and states, like the TV Spectrum, like the, I don't know, is that brand, company, the brand, or no, the company, maybe it's like called like a different company name, I don't know, anyways, it's LA's Finest, it's a spinoff of Bad Boys, and Bad Boys is one of my all-time favorite movies, so I love it so much, it's really, really, really good, I'm excited for season two to come out, um, so yeah, I did that, um, here, oh, I registered my daughter for swim lessons, wash sheets, uh, looks like my, my daughter got another package for my mom, Oh, and then on Wednesday, we put in the maintenance request because of obviously all of like the flooding and stuff. So they came in and did all those repairs and stuff. Um, I organized the balcony closet because it was a freaking disaster. We had a barbecue at the pool and then we had a pool day as well. And then of course, you know, top it off with some Andy's ice cream. Told you guys, we're obsessed with that place. Thursday, my daughter had her very first swim lesson. It looks like we just did some meal plan, watch Coco. So I guess nothing really that exciting other than the swim lessons. Um, Friday, what happened? Laundry, because that's all I do. I sold clothes to Plato's Closet, did some grocery shopping, and I ordered my daughter's school supplies for school. Um, oh, Once More With Love was having a sale, so I participated in that. I have here Emotional Day on the 15th, but I don't know why I have that there. I'm thinking maybe it's something to do with my grandfather, but I'm not 100% sure. It probably is it. I think this is actually has something to do with my grandfather. So anyways, I had an emotional day. My daughter rode her bike and that was basically it. On Sunday was Father's Day. We got some Papa John's pizza. Um, we paid off bills. I don't know what bills, but we paid them off, I guess. Uh, we bought our Toy Story tickets. Of course, you know, we had to go and see Toy Story. And then we just had some family cuddle time that night. I think that's actually, yep, and here comes Toy Story. So this is June 17th to the 23rd. We are Disney addicts. We love us some Disney. Can't get enough of Disney. So, of course, we had to go and see Toy Story 4. I personally really liked it. I ugly cried like Kim Kardashian. My husband, however, did not like it at all. So comment down below. I'm curious. Did you guys like Toy Story 4 or did you not? Um, oh, I don't want to talk about it because then there was some things I did not like. 
but I did like it overall. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, I'm trying to be vague because I feel like this maybe came out in June, so maybe people, I feel like people probably have selling it by now, but I don't want to assume that and then, anyways, moving on. Um, so what happened on Monday? I basically just cleaned and went grocery shopping. Uh, oh, on Tuesday, we booked our trip to Hawaii. I'm so excited. Actually, when you're seeing this video, I will be in Hawaii. I don't know what day this is uploading, but I will be there. So this is when we booked our trip. So freaking excited. Um, and then I needed to start tracking, like, I started Clomid on Saturday. And it's very, like, cycle specific. So I had to, like, actually count my days and know, like, okay, I am currently on cycle day. Like, I never cared, like, what number cycle I was on. But, like, right now, if you ask me, Brittany what cycle day are you on? I'm like, oh, I'm CD 20. So like I'm cycle day 20. Like, I don't know. I never cared about that before, but like with taking the Clomid, I need to know exactly what day everything is. So anyways, I just wanted to like mark that. Went on a target run. Oh, this night we went to medieval times. Oh my God. It was so fun. Like growing up, I'm from Florida originally. So and Orlando was only like an hour and a half, two hour drive. So I always would love to go to like dinner shows like the Pirates one, Medieval Times. And so there's a Medieval Times out here. And so we ended up going and honestly, it was such a good time. And the food was delicious. I don't remember liking the food in Orlando, but the food out here in Dallas is so good. It's really, really, really good. If you have a Medieval Times near you, I highly suggest it. Um, but anyways, on Wednesday, I had a sonogram. They just needed to check before I started Clomid because one of the side effects of Clomid is it can cause cysts. So I needed to check to make sure I don't have any cysts. So um, did that. Then after that, we went to Starbucks and we actually met with our realtor, which love our realtor so much. And like, it's so crazy, like how I found him. So I found him because of his wife on YouTube. I reached out to her. I sent her like a DM. I slipped into her DMs and I was like, it's probably weird, blah, blah, blah. She said, no, totally. Um, gave her my number and like the rest is history like now we're like actually like building it's not like just like oh yeah he's our realtor it's like he's an actual friend and his wife is our friend and we've been like meeting their family and it's just like honestly like I don't know it's just awesome it's nice to have like a really good relationship that is now turning into a friendship so it's pretty cool so anyways that was our first meeting with him um, and starting the whole home buying process which we, I can't say like it's official we bought a house, you know, cause we haven't closed on it, but we've signed a purchase agreement and I, yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited about it. So fingers crossed, everything goes well with that. Um, oh, and then after I had the worst headache, like really, really, really bad. Um, and I ended up going to bed early. Like I was like knocked out like the rest of the day because of the headache. It just totally knocked me on my ass. I think this is, my husband said like, he's pretty sure I was like getting a migraine cause I couldn't even keep my eyes open because it hurt so bad. Um, but anyways, Thursday I just felt really blah, like just from like the leftover headache from like the night before, I just felt really bad. Um, I ended up picking up my daughter's recital video, don't get me started, it was awful. Anyways, had swim lessons. Then on Friday, oh my God, my daughter had a dentist appointment. It was the worst dentist appointment experience ever. They had us like pin her down to like hold her so they could brush her teeth and it was just traumatizing. Like, oh, to like have to like pin your child down, like I don't know. Like, I don't think I'd be able to do that again. Like, honestly, if we, not if we, we will go be going back to the dentist every six months. But when we go back and they say, you need to hold her down, I'm gonna be like, no, I'm not. Because I'm not gonna traumatize my child, yet alone myself. Like, it just doesn't feel right. You know what I'm saying? So I think actually we're gonna switch dentists because the dentists that we go to, they do see children as well. So I think I'm actually gonna have her go to our dentist because I didn't like that. But anyways, after the horrific dentist appointment, we saw Toy Story 4, so that made it a little bit better. And it was so cute. My daughter dressed up as Jessie to go, she's obsessed with Jessie, to um, go and see the movie and everybody, like the employees, like patrons were like, oh my God, that is the cutest thing ever. I honestly thought a lot of kids would dress up, but nope, she was the only one, but it was really cute. Um, so anyways, I ended up getting two Scentsy packages this day. We had some pool time later that night. Um, and then Saturday, like I said earlier, I did start uh, Clomids. That was Clomid day one. Um, what else? Just laundry, Hobby Lobby, because like I said, and the dreaded Costco because it gets us every time. And then Sunday, I just had like a big planning session, made some samples, HGTV binge, more laundry, because you know, that's my life. 
And then this is the, okay, so this is the last week then because then we go into July and that'll be a separate video for that, those three months. So for June 24th to June 30th, um, grr YouTube and it's flicking off, but I don't know why. I guess YouTube really pissed me off this day, but I can't recall what happened. Um, I decluttered all of our clothes. I sold clothes. I always like to sell clothes at Plato's Closet and Once Upon a Child. If you ever need some extra cash or you like have all these clothes, um, I don't know. I, I always say, hey, try those out because why not get like a couple dollars in your pocket and you're getting rid of stuff too. So anyways, um, and then we also went to Dunkin' Donuts on Tuesday. I picked up my daughter's dance pictures, which came out so freaking cute. Oh my God, I love this. Oh, and I dropped off clothes to thread up. Okay, here's what you don't do when you want to sell clothes. Do not sell to thread up. Do not. I am warning you. I've seen so many videos of YouTubers being like, Thread Up is amazing. I got all these awesome clothes from Thread Up, blah, 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 blah. Nobody makes a video about how Thread Up scams you out of your freaking stuff. So when you send stuff to Thread Up, it is free to send them stuff. However, if you want your clothes back, so all of the items that you're sending to them, say they don't buy, say, say you send 10 pieces to them and say they only want to buy five. Well, the other five items they don't buy, they donate it. Do they really? I don't know. I used to be like, yeah, of course they donate it. But now, because they're sketchy AF, I don't really know if they do. But if you want those five items back that they're not going to buy, then you have to pay $10.99 to get your shit back. And then they will ship it back to you. But of course, to ship all of your stuff to them is free. Anyways, um, so they bought 20 pieces from me. 20 pieces. And you want to know how much money they gave me? $9. For 20 pieces that they purchased from me, they gave me $9. $9. I'm just like reiterating that over and over and over again. So much BS. And one thing that they bought from me was baby Uggs. Real Uggs. They were baby size Uggs. They're Uggs that my daughter never wore. We got them as a gift and she never wore them and I was like, eh, well, I was trying to sell them like on Facebook Marketplace on, um, I think it's called Let Go or Let It Go and on, what's the other app? I can't think of the other app where you sell stuff. Anyways, I tried selling on so many different platforms and and never sold, nobody wanted to buy it. You wanna know how much they paid me for those Uggs? Do you wanna know how much? A dollar and 11 cents. Yeah, brand new Uggs, don't even get me started. Oh, so I'm warning you now, do not sell to thread up ever in your life. I would even say don't buy from them because who wants to buy from shady ass people? But obviously you do you. If you want to buy from them, go ahead. I will never, ever, ever, ever. So anyways, yeah, 20 pieces and I only got $9. And my husband would always say to me, like, why do you sell to like Once Upon a Child or Plato's Closet? You only get like a dollar or $2, sometimes $3 per item. But I was like, yeah, babe, it's still extra cash. No big deal. I'm okay with getting like, okay, and you guys are probably be like, well, the Uggs, you got a dollar and you're upset, but hi, it's Uggs, like name brand expensive stuff, like hello. Um, but anyways, like, yeah, if I'm, they're buying 20 pieces, say Plato's Closet is going to buy 20 pieces from me, then that's $20. And yeah, I didn't even get half of that. So anyways, moving on because, oh, makes me so mad. Ah. <sighs> So yeah, that was that day. I sent the clothes off to thread up. Um, and of course we got some more Andes. On Wednesday here I have uh, no energy, so I guess I was just really tired, and then I finished round one of Clomid. Oh, this day also I talked with um, a mortgage lender, so that was that day, and then we also had some pool time. On Thursday, this is when I needed to start taking my ovulation test, so I just have that like marked. Looks like I filmed two videos, my daughter had swim lessons, and we got some Chick-fil-A. Oh my God, what I would do for Chick-fil-A right now. Um, Friday, um, looks like I had a cleaning day and I was binging some True Crime Garage, which if you like true crime podcasts, I would definitely recommend them. I love them, they are my favorite, so good. Uh, looks like I did laundry and I started watching Double Shot at Love, like that love show with Polly D and Vinny. Um, anyways, and then Saturday, we washed the car, put clothes away, back in the floors, another pool, we had a lot of pool days. Um, a pool day and then we also did some carne asada at the pool and then a double shot at love again binging that and then on sunday oh we planned our trip to go to waco so we were planning a trip 
in July to go to Waco and meet up with Kirsten and Brian and that was such a good time. Honestly, so I'm not even done planning that day of Waco. I. I need to get on that before I have to film that flip through. But anyways, um, so we planned our trip to Waco, went on a grocery run. We had some family cuddles and watched Aladdin, not the live action, just the cartoon. I actually still haven't even seen the live action Aladdin. And then we got some Andes, like you know, we're obsessed with Andes. And um, yeah, that is about it. So that is all of my spreads for April, May, and June. I hope you guys did enjoy this flip through. Um, definitely comment down below and let me know what your favorite spread is. I, I have no idea what mine is. I probably, honestly, the Game of Thrones. Like, I don't know what it is. I just look at that and I just get so happy. I just love it so much. I just need to get that sticker to complete this day here. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this flip through. Please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.